good evening all of you today we'll solve one question uh, that that is uh, from ge advance uh, 2018 okay so this question came in in your ge advance 2018 right uh, those who are preparing for ge uh, or in general also sometimes this type of question may can come also in neat or other exams also so what the uh, let us discuss the question first so the it's written in a small letters so uh, and it's a lengthy question so might be might take time to read this question but let let me explain the question for you a ball is projected from the ground at an angle 45 degree with the horizontal surface it reaches the maximum height it is this is the horizontal it is thrown with certain angle to uh, making some angle to the horizontal then obviously it will come to the ground again and it attains the maximum height 120 meter so that it, it will reach the ground after that after hitting the ground again it will fly again it will go means uh, projected with an angle 30 degree the question is what will the maximum height it will attain the second time okay and uh, in the how it will in the second second time after it strikes the ground how it will again um uh, and it will again bounce with an velocity okay uh and the velocity will calculate but it will have how it will lose the half of the kinetic energy initial kinetic energy and it will bounce for the second time it will lose the half of the kinetic energy of the initial kinetic energy and the angle it will make is 30 degree let me draw the diagram so first a ball is projected from the ground so here the ball is it projected let's say this is a ground making an angle 45 degree with the ground so it will come to ground after some time when it strikes the ground again after striking the ground it will go like this the question is like that and making an angle 30 degree and the kinetic energy when it will bounce from the ground again the kinetic energy is the half of k final you can write is half of k initial it is half of the initial kinetic energy and it attains a maximum height in the first one 120 meter the question is the maximum height it reaches after the bounce after the bounce so after the bounce how high it will reach let's say this height is h2 and this height is let's say h1 so how high it will reach how high it will reach after the bounce this is the question and what are the given condition initial angle of projection is given 45 degree after the bounce also angle is given 30 degree maximum height attained given 120 degree the first case the second case after the bounce a maximum height we have to calculate one more information it is given that final kinetic energy is half of the initial kinetic energy so this is the information the data is given to you now you have to calculate it and in g 2008 18 this question came as a come came as a uh, numerical value problem means you have to write the it's not multiple choice question it's like fill in the blank question so you have to you have to uh, write the value and the value you have to write up to uh, second decimal two decimal points okay so whatever the value will be you have to write up to two decimal digits okay so 
let us first calculate uh, the answers then we will write down uh, the or we will fill the blank now you can try it it's not very difficult so you can do it so the solution we can do here the ball is thrown at an angle 45 degree okay so it attains a maximum height 120 meter so what is the formula for maximum height that is u square sin square theta by 2z isn't it u square sin square theta by 2z okay so and uh, theta is given right so u square you can calculate means uh, before me also and you can say the answer so u square sine square theta theta is 45 degree we are calculating we are calculating h1 then this is 2z okay so sine 45 degree is what 1 upon root 2 so we can write this is u square sine 45 is 1 upon root 2 this is 1 upon root 2 whole square by 2c or we can write u square okay 1 upon root 2 is 2 so this will go down so this will be 4z u square upon 4z 3g 4g is just u square by 4g g is the acceleration due to gravity this small g yeah? so now we got the value of your maximum height and it is given 120 meter no issue u square by 4g that is 120 meter it's given okay now the this condition is a very crucial condition that is final kinetic energy kf is equal to half of ki initial kinetic energy what is kin initial kinetic energy initial kinetic energy is half mv square so i can write the final kinetic energy as half mv square this is the final kinetic energy okay that means kinetic energy here and initial kinetic energy i'll write half m half into ki is of m u square okay clear now half half cancel m m cancel so what i can write i can write that v square is equal to half u square or i can write v is equal to u by root 2 that means what after the bounce the ball will move or the ball will be projected with a velocity that is v that will be u initial velocity upon root 2 we got the this velocity k uh, v value from the concept of this relationship that after the bounce the kinetic energy is half of the initial kinetic energy energy is half right so now we got the b now what will be maximum height so maximum height h2 again we will put the formu same formula that is u square sine square theta by 2z and what is uh, theta here after the bounce after the bounce theta is 30 degree so u square sine 30 degree to z that is sine 30 is half half square okay 1 by 4 so u square this is 1 by 4 to z okay 4 this is 4 so u square by 8g so what h2 you are getting you are getting h2 
एच यू स्क्वायर बाय एट जी ठीक है बट ये क्या है यू स्क्वायर बाय फोर जी जी और एच एच वन नाउ वी आर गेटिंग ए रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन योर एच टू एंड एच वन एच वन ऑलरेडी हैव वी हैव द वैल्यू ओके सो वी कैन राइट दैट यू स्क्वायर बाय हाफ इंटू यू स्क्वायर बाय फोर जी आई कैन राइट एट जी आई कैन राइट हाफ इंटू फोर ठीक है टू इंटू फोर ना यू स्क्वायर बाय फोर जी इज योर मैक्सिमम हाइट एच वन राइट सो आई कैन राइट एच वन बाय टू ठीक है एच वन बाय टू एच टू इज इक्वल टू एच वन बाय टू वी गोट द रिलेशनशिप राइट इज इट नाउ वन ट्वेंटी मीटर इज द हाइट हियर द मैक्सिमम हाइट सो एच टू विल बी एच वन अपन टू दैट इज वन ट्वेंटी मीटर अपन टू दैट इज सिक्सटी मीटर ठीक है वन ट्वेंटी मीटर अपन टू दैट इज योर सिक्सटी मीटर थर्टी जन एनी मिस्टेक हाफ हाफ वन बाई फोर This is two c. Acha. One thing I have to use here. I've done some mistake here. Uh, this is not u. This is v, na? H two we are calculating. So this is your v. This is your v. This is v. This is v. This is v. Okay. So, ah, uh, this is V. So, yes. So, ah, uh, here you can see that this is half. V is what? V we have the relationship. V is equal to u upon root two. So this is u square. I'm writing directly uh, by root two square is. Two, so another two will come. So two, ye eight g. So u square upon sixteen g. U square upon sixteen g. Okay. Now you can see that uh, u square upon four g is your h one, right? So ye kya ho jayega? One upon four. Ye one upon two lag diye the na? So ye Because it was b, so one upon four into u square upon g, four z. U square upon four g is your h one. So this is one upon four h one, or you can say h one by four. H one by four is h two. Okay. Now h one is given one twenty meter, so h two is equal to one twenty meter. Upon four, that is thirty meter. So fill in the blanks up to two decimal points. So how will you write in meters? Thirty point zero zero meter. This is the answer. Okay. So project from projectile. Every year you get a question either in NEET, uh, JE, Main, or Advanced. Every year the question comes. You should thoroughly practice the problems from projectile. Okay. So in the next video, I'll solve uh, one more problem from JE Advanced or Main. Let's see. Okay. Thank you. Practice problems. Thank you.